stasera facciamo la pizza. Fun. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a good dough. So I have prepared already six cups of flour. So every two cups of flour gets one cup of water. So that was two. The key to this is you want to make sure you use lukewarm water because that's important. I got some nice yeast here. You can get dry yeast or you get this here. This is what we used to use in the pizza shop. I used to have a pizza shop when I was a kid in the 80s. I hate to tell you that. That was a long time ago, but it was great memories. Yeast, salt, sugar. Sugar is going to activate the yeast. Olive oil. Real simple. A little bit of that. I'm gonna dissolve it real good. Use a whisk and try to make it go fast. So the salt and the sugar was like a, I did a tablespoon and a half of salt and a half a uh, spoon of sugar. Everybody's all into this gluten right now. Um, so I made a little bit of gluten over there if you want to look at it. Gluten free. Gluten -free. This is going to work like this. I'm going to turn that on. It's a little fast right now. And uh, I'm going to get this flour in there right away. Okay. I'm going to pay attention to it a little bit. That's it, man. It's going perfect. Check it out. Come on around here and look at this. I want to make bruschetta for you guys. This is the traditional way to make pizza, the original. I already made a whole bunch of it, so we're ready. Um, I have some tomatoes that, you know, are ripe, ready to go. Very important knife cuts on these, on tomatoes. So you can actually make a salsa out of the same tomato. This is a plum tomato, okay? There's plum, there's heirloom, um, there's grape tomatoes, all types of tomatoes, okay? I just wanna show you how easy it is. It's simple and it's a good opportunity to clean out your, your refrigerator. Look, the dough, you can, you know, we're waiting on that dough, but you can cheat and just Call up your local, your favorite pizza shop and go over there and ask them for, ask them for a couple of dough balls and give them a couple bucks. They usually, you know, there's not a whole lot of money. But I just figured I'd we'd do it from scratch just because we got nothing better to do. We're all, we're all stuck in the house, all right? In August, gets, the, the tomatoes are a lot more juicier and watery. And when they're like that, when I cut them all up, I would put them in a uh, in a little bit of a colander because I don't want it too juicy, otherwise the, the tomato the pizza gets soggy. So obviously garlic. You can never have enough garlic. Staple in the Italian kitchen. If you go in a the kitchen, they don't have garlic, they either ran out or they're not Italian. Remember that. Okay? Same with the olive oil. Just a little, just salt, that's it. You don't even have to put pepper in this. Just really, that's all it is. My grandma, when we were kids, we used to line up, she would make bonsai oi. So this is the bruschetta. And if you want to make a salsa, you just put onion instead of garlic. You throw some, uh, some uh, lemon, lime. And, but we're not talking about Spanish. We're doing Italian anyway, so I'm gonna stop right there. Us, when we're done, I'm gonna chop this up. I'll julienne it real nice and fresh and top it when it comes out of the oven, okay? Um, if I, you can actually even throw grated cheese in there if you want for like, for like, uh, like when you do crostinis, you do like a crostinis or if you're having like a, 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 a cold hors d'oeuvre party. So I'm gonna blow out these tomatoes. I wanna show my beautiful wife made. 
She roasted these beautiful vegetables. We can put them on the pies if we want. We can eat them on the side, make a nice ensalade. Um, I'm waiting for that dough to rise. When that dough rises, we're gonna bang out some pizza. I wanna make bruschetta for you guys. This is the traditional way to make pizza. The original. I already made a whole bunch of it, so we're ready. Um, I have some tomatoes that, you know, are ripe, ready to go. Very important knife cuts on these, on tomatoes. So you can actually make a salsa out of the same tomato. This is a plum tomato, okay? There's plum, there's heirloom, um, there's grape tomatoes, all types of tomatoes, okay? I just want to show you how easy it is. It's simple and it's a good opportunity to clean out your, your refrigerator. Look, the dough, you can, you know, we're waiting on that dough, but you can cheat and just call up your local, your favorite pizza shop and go over there and ask them for, ask them for a couple of dough balls and give them a couple bucks. They usually, they're you know, not a, lot, a whole lot of money, but I just figured I'd we'd do it from scratch just because we got nothing better to do. We're all, we're all stuck in the house, all right? In August, gets, the, the tomatoes are a lot more juicier and watery. And when they're like that, when I cut them all up, I would put them in a uh, in a little bit of a colander because I don't want them too juicy, otherwise the, the, tomato, the pizza gets soggy. So obviously, garlic you can never have enough garlic. Staple in the Italian kitchen. If you go in the kitchen, they don't have garlic. They either ran out or they're not Italian. Remember that. Okay. Same with the olive oil. Just a little, just salt, that's it. You don't even have to put pepper in this. Just really, that's all it is. My grandma, when we were kids, we used to line up, she would make bonsai oi. So this is the bruschetta. And if you want to make a salsa, you just put onion instead of garlic. You throw some, uh, some uh, lemon, lime. And, but we're not talking about Spanish, we're doing Italian tonight, so I'm gonna stop right there. Us, when we're done, I'm gonna chop this up. I'll julienne it real nice and fresh and top it when it comes out of the oven, okay? Um, if I, you can actually even throw grated cheese in there if you want for like, for like, uh, like when you do crostinis, you do like a crostinis or if you're having like a, uh, an or, a cold hors d'oeuvre party. So I'm gonna blow out these tomatoes. I wanna show what my beautiful wife made. She roasted these beautiful vegetables. We can put them on the pies if we want. We can eat them on the side, make a nice ensalade. Um, I'm waiting for that dough to rise. When that dough rises, we're gonna bang out some pizza. All right, now it's time we're gonna bang out a pie. Just so you know, I'm gonna, this, my technique is gonna be like old school pizza shop. I'm gonna do it on a pizza board. So, the most important thing is dough has got a lot of, you know, it's very, it's very moist. But when you use a, a wooden paddle, you, don't, you can't be moist, all right? Dip it in the flour, put a little flour in here, okay? I like to start on the outside and push all the dough to the center, to this way, because you don't want it to be real thin in the middle. And it gives you, the, and that's how you get the crust too, you make a toss pie, okay? This is what we're going to do. All right, you guys, no problem with that. You're going to take the peel. Now, I always do this to see if there's anything, if there's maybe a little oil or something from the last time. I'll get it off and then I'll just pinch some flour. I'm going to get the flour on there, okay? And now I'm ready to bang it out. This is banging it out, okay? Perfectly round. I think I told you earlier, it's got to be round. That's your pie. Okay, it's a little shimmy shimmy cocoa puff. So look, I had a, when I went in here, there's a little bit of moisture there. So I'm gonna just go like that, because I don't want to get jammed up going into the oven. Because when you go into the oven and you're jammed up, then it makes a big mess. So I just check it like that, see how it comes off. Okay, that means it's gonna come off nice and nice. 
and it's round. And I don't want that because I don't want to crease my. If you over bang it out, then you got all these lines and the pie doesn't come out crispy and you're not going to be happy. <clears throat> We're going to take our push and we are going to put it out. I, I do it just like I used to do it to, with the regular marinara sauce. The same, you know, that's how I like to distribute. <laughs> now this, this is, this bruschetta is a little watery because when you put salt and tomatoes, it extracts the, the juice. Okay. <laughs> And like I said earlier, we're not doing it with marinara. We're going to do the old, the old school Italian way. Okay? Now, I'm going to shimmy this in the oven like this first because I want, it to, I want the oven to dry out some of that moisture. Okay? I got one in there. It's pretty good. See? And then you got to shimmy it up. You got to shimmy it up. You got to let... I got these 14-inch stones in there, important pizza stones. They make a beautiful pizza. Look at that. See that? That stone is just like the, like if you go to your neighborhood pizza shop. Gabish. And then I like to do that. I got a nice Reggiano, grated Reggiano. I use the one that's like, it's not real fine. It's a little coarser. You just top it off like this. It's a beautiful looking pie. I like to take some... Some brisket. I'm, I'm sorry I'm dancing around over here, but I had myself hooked up over here with the brisket. I like to put the brisket on like this for me. My daughters, they like me to cook it, so I do it both ways. What the heck are you gonna do? You, got, you can't argue with the girls. She'll have my head. So. Look that nice that is. And now this just came out of the oven. So it's going to be nice and that, that brazoot's going to sweat. You can see it right in front of you, right before your eyes. See it starting to sweat a little bit? Right? While I'm talking, I, I got to let you know, I made for my daughter, Stefania, the, uh, she's the uh, nutritionist. I made her a gluten-free pie. I didn't know what to expect. First time I ever made gluten-free, you know what I mean? This was all new to me. But, it looks pretty good. I'll show it to you in a minute. That's La Pizza. I've got a pizza cutter around here somewhere. It's right over here. You want to hear that, you want to hear that crisp? See? Cut it like that. You got La It's not as sharp as I thought it was. See how nice that is? What do you think? Huh? Now, Bella goes. Okay, that's the, the bruschetta pie. Bruschetta pie. This is the one I was talking about with the, the gluten free. Let's see how that came out. Quick. Let me see what this is out of the oven. I cooled it down a couple minutes ago. It comes right out. This is what we got. Huh? Okay. A little thick. You couldn't. You can't bang this out. This doesn't because there's no gluten in it. The gluten is what makes you stretch and come back. Stretch and come back. This doesn't do that. But I'm interested to see before I start talking bad on it. I'm free. That's a gluten-free pizza. Huh? With prosciutto. Prosciutto. Allora, buon appetito e andiamo a tavolo.